yesterday when I was sitting on my coach and tried to construct a new own math problem, then I suddenly discovered something very strange. And that was that this red area in this picture is an integer. Yes, it is true. Almost every area, when it comes to circles, have pi in it, but not this one. And I have to do the work three times, I guess, before I was absolutely sure. It is an integer. And I will tell you how to solve this puzzle. But first, please pause the video and try to do your work yourself. Here we go. I will solve this as a regular puzzle. And the puzzle piece number one is this one with the unknown area and the area that is an integer. And I will construct some puzzle pieces. We will lay the puzzle and then we know this area. Next puzzle piece, it is this big circle and it fits very well here inside this picture. And in this circle, I will call the radius for big R, and then I will use Pythagorean theorem to write the area not in big R, but in little r, so that I can use the same variable in all my puzzle pieces. Okay, so the Pythagorean theorem is this one. You have seen it before. And if you square the longest side in a right triangle, like the right triangle we have here, it is the sum of the squares of the shorter sides. And we have r and we have little r even here. So it tells me that r squared equals little r squared plus little r squared. So r squared equals two times little r squared. And then the area of a circle is radius times itself and times pi. So it is big R squared and times pi. But big R squared, we are substituting this with two times R squared. So that we can use only R squared in this expression. The area for this one is two R squared times pi. And I write it in this puzzle piece. Next puzzle piece is a nice yellow piece and it fits in here in the picture. And I know that this angle here is a right angle, 90 degrees. And it is because of this triangle here. It is an isosceles, do you say so, triangle. It means that two sides are the same. And then we know that the two angles here and here also are the same. And because of it's 90 degrees here, then we know it's 45 degrees here and 45 degrees here. The sum is always 180 degrees inside a triangle. And then if we do a similar triangle like this, it will be 45 degrees here, and then we have 90 degrees. The yellow piece is three quarters of the green piece in area. So the green piece was this one right here and three quarters of the green piece it means three quarters times the area for the green piece and it was two times r squared pi. And I write it like three and two r squared pi up here and then divided by four here. And if I take two and four and divide both with two, I got this, three r squared pi divided by two. Okay, so we can write this one in the yellow piece. Have you figured out yet what I should do with these puzzle pieces? The next piece have a blue color and this fits very well right here. The area is simple and it's radius times pi and divided by two because it's a half circle. 
So I write it at an instant right here. here. And here comes the last puzzle piece. It is this nice little piece and it's a right triangle. We have already discussed the right angle here and we know that this triangle has the length here of little r, a right angle here and little r here and little r here. So if this is our base in the triangle then the base are 2r and the height here is r and we know that the area of a triangle we can take base times height and divide by 2 and in this triangle it is 2r times r divided by 2 and cancel out the number 2 up and down and then we have r squared so this area is r squared finally it's time to do the puzzle to construct this image you can do it in two ways with these puzzle pieces. The first way is to take the yellow piece, okay, and add this piece, and then add this piece. And then it equals, of course, the image that we had on the start. But you can do it in another way too. You can do it with this piece right here, the green one, and then this unknown area. And if this two is the same thing, the sum of this expression is the same as the 2r squared pi plus the unknown area, then you can subtract the green area from this to get the red area. So if we do like this, then we get the red area. And then we do the calculation. We have 3r squared pi divided by 2 plus the blue piece r squared pi divided by 2 and this purple piece r squared and then minus 2 r squared pi. Okay, so this is the same as here if we add them together we have 3 plus 1 we have 4 r squared pi divided by 2 and then plus r squared minus 2 r squared and if we divide this 4 and this 2 with the 2 up and down, then we have like this 2r squared pi plus r squared and minus 2r squared pi. And see what is happening. I take my red pen and cancel 2r squared pi and minus 2r squared pi and the result is that the area of the red is r squared. And if r is an integer, then r squared is an integer too. So if r equals 5 maybe, then r squared equals 25. Not a single pi in there. Isn't it that cool? I think it is really cool and I discovered it just by chance. Bye bye, see you in the next video, please give this a thumbs up if you like it, and maybe subscribe too. My name is Jonas, a Swedish math teacher.